my patient is 62 year female presented with the pain and swelling behind the knee we obviously diagnose as baker cyst you can see it is actually outpouching of a synovial membrane and synovial fluid plan for open surgical excision biopsy of the lesion we are putting a lacy s skin incision avoid putting a longitudinal incision as it uh, forms a scar and it will affect the range of motion of the uh, knee joint in f- females we have to be very careful about the varicose veins in and around the uh, knee joint as you go through the subcut you can just see the veins and coagulate them and just go uh, dissecting uh, superficial fascia to the uh, deep layer of superficial fascia moron becker cyst is best diagnosed clinically by extending the knee it gets popped up and disappears on flexion of the knee in usc of the posterior aspect of the knee mri and arthrography to know the connection between the knee joint and the swelling we just have identified the fascia deeper fascia we are just dissecting the fascia from the swelling by blunt dissection and we will release the deep fascia to see the huge swelling popping out of the uh, incision treatment modalities of baker cyst aspiration of the swelling is only done in old age patients and uh, medically comorbid patients and excision biopsy and arthroscopic debridement of of the cyst and treating the pathology in the knee joint is most important that otherwise recurrence rate is very high in moron baker cyst pathologies like osteoarthritis posterior horn median meniscus tear and inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid arthritis may present with a joint baker cyst in the posterior aspect of the knee untreated baker cyst may burst may cause a chemical dvt inflammation of muscles and cellulitis coming to our dissection uh, we are tracing out the borders laterally it is arising from the uh, sheath of medial head of gastrocnemius and medially it arising looks like from uh, semi membranous sheath so it has uh, a broader attachment uh, usually we can take out as a whole uh, encapsulated but sometimes uh, we can uh, we may get uh, rupturing the uh, capsule so we are trying to slowly dissect it out by using uh, blunt dissection with fingers so it got ruptured so just we have to uh, wash out and suck out all the fluid so as to avoid the complication we are able to see a huge sack coming after washing with the saline uh, just cauterizing the vessels underlying the, in the capsule or uh, and releasing the capsule from the semi membranosus just tracing out from the sheath of the semi membranosus just you can see uh, underlying tendons uh, it is mostly arising from the both the tendons uh, like semi membranosus and semi tendinosus the sheath is very broadly spread and attached to all the te- tendons surrounding it that is me- medial head of gastrocnemius and uh, semi membranosus and semi tendinosus just going tracing it upwards or releasing it prox- proximally it's going near to the knee joint just see just uh, flimsy his stock is remained which is going directly into the knee just you can trace it till knee it is a posterior aspect of the tibia and directly it is going deep as you dissect it down you can able to see it is just at the joint line so you can uh, put your finger into the joint line see it is connecting to the joint usually we have to uh, tie a knot if it is uh, a small attachment and cut it out here it is broad attachment we just have dissected it out and you are able to see the bed it is a posterior aspect of the tibia even this is the same uh, approach you can uh, use to fix the medial posterior medial corner of the short skirts so you can able to fix the uh, fix a uh, uh, plate uh, fix the fracture supporting the 
medial posteromedial condyle and we are able to see the vessels just lateral to the medial head of gastrocnemius that is vein artery nerve you can see the medial popliteal nerve is going down we are just away from these vessels we never try to go uh, near to them and avoid avoiding the injury to the nerve vessels so this is uh, very uh, easy to uh, fix uh, the central column also with the same approach just releasing the medial head of gastrocnemius and uh, posteriorly go deep so that uh, you can see all the fracture fragments even you can uh, fix the central portion of the uh, fracture by going in between the vessels and medial head of gastrocnemius so you can you have to be very careful just uh, lateralize all the vessels including vein artery nerve and the pulpit the posterior border and you, you are into the space for the central portion of the tibia so this is it you can just close subcute and